case of uh, the public school just fueling the whole race war and let's fight about a flag war and I'm bringing this to your attention uh, because it caught my attention it is the high school that I went to um, which actually the high school is on different grounds now the old high school is the middle school but same district uh, a district that when I went to school I can't say anything bad about it anything bad that happened to me there was my own fault uh, it was a good school. By the time my kids got there, I hated that school. I caught them in lies. They're not able to educate some kids if you don't. The whole deal. Public schools suck. They just do. And Kennett is certainly no exception and sometimes a lot worse because they're out up there in the north and they, they're out of view of mainstream media and Twitter and, and all that type of stuff. They're not in the headlines. But they are now because uh, they want to fight about flags and, and let uh, kids fight about flags, and well, let's listen to this, and I give you some commentary. Barely has moved north. They're now prohibited from the property of a high school in New Hampshire. The school's principal is standing firm in his decision, but so are the students who continue to fly those flags. CBS 13's Courtney Highfield is in Conwood, where students there are putting up a fight. Earlier this week, students at Kennett High School were asked to take down their Confederate flags. As you can see, students are still flying their flags. They're painting them on the back of their trucks, and they say they're not backing down. Everybody has a right to fly the flag, including us. School board member Mark Council says some students at the high school were uncomfortable with the Confederate flag. They told the principal, and he asked those students to take the flags off their vehicles. The principal went to the to the people who were flying the, the students who were displaying the flag and saying, asked them nicely if they would re mind removing it because it's being disrupted. Students say they feel like their First Amendment rights are being taken away. You know, I really don't like it. Um, I stand for the flag completely. I used to live in the South for about five years, and all my friends flew it, and, you know, it's been part of my history. To them, it's not about race. I understand that the flag does have some ties to racism. I'm not blind to that fact. But that's not what the flag stood for. The flag stood for rising up against a tyrant government and not backing down and standing up for what you believe in, which we're doing. The school board member supports the principal's decision and says the flags were prohibited because ultimately they became a distraction. The 98% of the kids who just want to go to school to learn weren't able to because, you know, we're going to cultivate an environment where people, where children can be educated. And this was just too disruptive. The kids say they're not backing down. All of us got together and we all flew our flags to make a statement that we won't take our flag down because we don't have to. But at the end of the day, the principal makes the rules, and the kids have to abide by them. We were not going to allow the school to become a, a place of uh, uncontrolled, uh, float of the flies type of setting. Students say they'll respect school officials and not fly the flags on school property, but they say as soon as they drive away, the flags are going right back up. In Conway, New Hampshire, Courtney Highfield, CBS 13 News. Well, that's absolute bullshit. Um, hopefully you heard that. Uh, Ram truck from Lee Dodge. Dan Mahoney was my salesman. Yeah. Let's just get rid of that for a minute. Hopefully you heard all that all right. It's absolute bullshit that we're even fighting about flags, first of all. And because one or two people are uncomfortable, uh, we're going to take away someone's rights. Why can't those uncomfortable people be given an education uh, about what the flag truly means, uh, remind them that we live in America and we're supposed to be free, clap your hands. Um, no, no, we're going to fuel the race war. We're going to, uh, they, they say it's distracting. What's distracting is your mentality, sir. If anyone is distracted by a flag waving in the air, 
then we need to remove all flags. If, the, if a, the presence of a flag and the movement thereof because of the wind is a distraction, we need to remove all flags, including the American flag. Every flag must go, or every flag is acceptable, and the people that attend that school need to understand that there in America, they may be offended from time to time, and they will also have the right to offend somebody else. We strive to not offend anybody, but you, that's not achievable because anyone can create anything to be offended by. I could be offended by myself and remain in perpetual misery if I choose to do that. So, you, no, no, Cannon High School, you suck. You absolutely suck. Those kids need to stand firm, and I wouldn't take those flags down when I came onto school property. I wouldn't come onto school property. I would not. I would keep my flag up until all flags are accepted there. But you guys, with those flags, remember one thing. When the gay student comes through with their, their gay pride flag, you better, you better hold the door for him. When the guy comes through with the Islamic flag or any other nation's flag, you better hold the door for him. You better be there to back him up defend his right just like you're defending your right now much love many thank and to those students that stood up kudos to you you're on the right path much love and i'll see you soon